Hi, good morning, uh, Church. My name's Sue. Um, I work at the at a hospital in Groningen on the Burns unit, and um, I hope you all had a wonderful Easter in these uh, very strange times. I hope you were able to uh, listen to the online church service and maybe have your own personal connection with your family abroad or maybe a video chat with someone but you were able to celebrate Easter and as Kuhn said, springs in the air and the Lord is risen, the Lord is risen, resurrected and we are all very hopeful for the future. Um, I spent this weekend working on the Burns unit and I also spent a uh, late shift on Saturday working on the intensive care, on the uh, corona side of the intensive care. We have to um, help the intensive care nurses to take care of these patients. And um, beforehand, I was really nervous about going. And I was praying to God, please help me to do my work and to help these uh, people. And the one verse that really helped me was Psalm 16, verse 8. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. But um, I worked there on um, Saturday evening, and um, there was this uh, man who was uh, transferred from The Hague by, by helicopter on Friday, and he woke up uh, in a hospital in Groningen, not knowing what had happened, and um, he was being ventilated because he had a really bad chest infection from the uh, coronavirus. But it was his birthday on uh, Sunday, Easter Sunday, and he couldn't be with his family. And that was really made a real... Uh, lasting impression on me, just that the, for her, that people can't visit them. Okay, he had a video chat with his uh, sons, and he's getting better, but th that really made an uh, impression on me. And just seeing how the intensive care nurse looked after them, I mean, I held his hand, and um, I saw his uh, reaction when the doctor told him, when he woke up for the first time, that he was in Harling and not in The Hague, the sort of look of bewilderment and uh, fear and uh, what's going on here. But um, I have a great respect for the nurses who work there and the doctors and uh, I think we really should pray for them and um, but um, I also saw other patients lying on their stomachs fighting for their lives um, and you saw that every patient has their own sort of uh, uh, journal where the staff can write on them and uh, by the bed there's a poster sort of telling something about the patient so you get an impression of what the person like in, uh, in real life but um, we were very lucky, we're really well protected uh, when you go onto the corona ward with the masks and the, and the gowns and, and the gloves that you have to wear and you come out for break every two, three hours. But I um, really feel we should pray for the um, health staff working in uh, the old people's homes and the care homes because they aren't so well protected and they need an awful lot of uh, prayer and uh, spiritual... Um, help to help them deal with that situation. But um, these are my thoughts on this. And uh, the nurses, they just feel that they're just doing their job. They don't really feel like uh, heroes. Um, I mean, they're being sponsored by firms. They have uh, so many Easter eggs and ready-made meals and uh, stuff to drink and to eat. It's quite overwhelming, really. But um, luckily, uh, it's getting quieter on the intensive care. And there seems to be sort of, the peak's almost been reached. But um, I really think we should just pray. I'd just like to say a prayer. Um, dear Lord, uh, bless all the doctors and nurses who are working in hospitals in the Netherlands, on the corona wards, on the intensive cares, and also all the health workers who are working uh, non-stop, not thinking about their own health, who are working in the nurses' homes and care homes, where there are very vulnerable old people, uh, people who are dement, people who are missing their, maybe their, um, their husband or their families, which they can't visit, just help them all to stay strong in this period and uh, guide them in their work, that they still manage to keep safe, but that they are able to do the work. And please help us all through this crisis. Um, I feel really blessed. My parents are 86, 82, but they're well. My children are fine. Uh, I've got a job. Uh, I've got a health. I've got my health. I'm just very lucky. I just want to uh, hope that we all get through this together with the help of God and the Holy Spirit. Okay, that was it. Bye.